Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Alright, so the distance needed to stop a car after applying the brakes varies directly with the square of the car's speed. So the table below shows stopping distances for various speeds. So they talk about a relationship here, um, and the direct variation versus indirect variation, we're not really, we don't really need to get into here. They're just stating that that happens. What they really want us to do is, if you look at this table, you get speed and distance, they say, determine the average rate of change and breaking distance in feet per miles per hour between one car traveling at 50 and one car traveling at 70. All right, so our speeds are these top numbers here. So let's compare this for a second. We've got 50 right here. Breaking distance is over 150 feet, but at 70, the distance required to stop is over 300 feet. It's quite a diff difference right there. I'm going to zoom out. So to find the average rate and change, let's really define the slope between these two right here. Now distance is the output, and it's based on the speed I'm going. So this, these are my y values, these are my x values, and to find slope, we find the difference of the y values. So 156.25 minus 306.25 and then divide that by 50 minus 70. It's the average, right? And you get two negative numbers divided out here and you get 7.5, right? So you have 7.5 and I, you don't need to include the units, but let's just do that here. It's gonna be feet divided by what? Uh, distance in the, difference in the X is miles per hour. So I'm going to put that there. So I, it, these these units can be canceled out, but it's, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, just put it there. It's, it's 7.5 feet for every one mile per hour. And I want to do that because it helps me explain the answer here. Explain what this rate of change means as it relates to braking distance. Well, this is saying it takes 7.5 more feet for every whatever the unit is down here, which is one. It's implied that it's one mile per hour. Right, it's over one. If it was over some other number, that would change the answer, right? So this tells me that uh, for every mile per hour you increase your speed, increase your speed, it adds another seven on average 7.5 feet of breaking distance and now you want to specify two things um, you want to say on average on average and you also want to say I should say at the beginning uh, between because we don't know what happens outside of this range, 50 and 70 miles per hour. You want to specify that we're dealing with this range right here. We don't know what happens at 1,000 miles an hour. We don't know what happens between 10 and 20, how different it is. We just know, on average, between 50 and 70 miles per hour, for every mile per hour you increase your speed, it adds another 7.5 feet of braking distance. So. Within this realm, if I go from 50 to 60 miles an hour, that's an increase of 10 miles per hour, it would take an additional 75 feet to stop because it's 7.5 for each of those miles per hour between 50 and 60. All right, I hope this helped.